Hey everyone, here's an amazing instrument here. This is a uh, Federa Matt Garrison Imperial. Um, beautiful Koa top, awesome ebony board with abalone uh, dot uh, inlays or face dots um, and side dots to be honest on the side of the fretboard. 26 frets. They're all the Matt Garrison spec small frets, which are nice. Um, two Duncan dual coils, um, an ebony ramp that's uh, removable. Um, the standard Federa bridge, obviously, which is awesome. It's adjustable. It's 19 millimeter string spacing. Right now I've got it set up for 18. Um, the controls for the mic pull preamp are um, for your the switch here, this is active passive, and you've got uh, um, single coil or hum cancelling, hum bucker. So, um, and then we've got uh, what's it called? Uh, the mid switch, which is uh, I think 400 hertz and 800 hertz is the choice. I prefer the 400, sounds the best. Um, three band EQ, bass, mid, and uh, treble, and it's all cut and boost. And then you've got a blend knob as well. Um, we've got uh, volume on the uh, center of the concentric uh, knob here, and uh, you got a the tone passive tone knob, which is obviously works in both passive and active mode. Uh, on the back of the bass, you can see that we've got a alder tone block, um, the walnut body, which is pretty much the standard Matt Garrison spec, and of course an ash neck, not maple, ash. Ash helps tend to bring out uh, more of the uh, lower mitts. It's a pretty cool uh, addition. It's not perfectly uh, flat, although maple, I guess isn't exactly perfect either, no real wood is. Um, and I think the other uh, neck out there that's really cool is red oak, and you don't see that often, but that's more for, I said, higher mids. Uh, if you can see up top there, I've got a detuner, um, and this space is strung E to C. Uh, that's how it's designed. Um, and you get ultra low action with that. Uh, you could actually um, string it as a, B to G as well. Um, the nut is kind of cut that way. It's uh, It's got a bit of space if you can see it. I would recommend using the Federa um, 120 to 40 light gauge nickel strings if you were going to try and attempt that. Um, they have the ultralights, which makes the, uh, I guess that, I believe that's the, the, the uh, I think it's the D, uh, A, Possibly even the G string are about you know five mils a little lighter. It doesn't really do anything for the B, I believe. I think it's still 120, so not a big change. But I mean those will definitely work as well. Um, but what will happen? You'll end up with a slightly higher action because there's more tension when you uh, string B to G versus E to C, obviously, right? Um, cool. So yeah, let's uh, let's give it a little bit of a run here. So I've got it plugged right into my uh, Bergantino B amp with two NV-115s, um, awesome sealed cabinets. I've gotten really interested in sealed cabinets lately. Not such a, uh, not so much of a fan of ported anymore. But that's me. So right now I'm in passive mode. Um, so I've got the pickups in hum bumper hum. Sorry, single coil mode. Um, I, I can do that just by basically adjusting the blend knob to uh, its furthest position to the back, so you can hear the you can hear the back pickup. And what I'll do is I can say adjust it. There's center. Space pretty good. Mm -hmm. 
flip it to uh, active mode. And you've got, I said all my EQs uh, still flat. But you can still hear a difference no matter what. There is a, um, a pot inside the cavity that you can adjust and actually get more output than this. It's really, really powerful and loud. What I do is if I crank that, I usually back the volume down or just back it off, go low. So it's a lot, a lot lower. And then you can have full control of everything that's in there. The, the thing is when you crank the pot inside the cavity, generally you get a lot more noise, especially if it's on full. If you dial it back about a quarter, you probably get mm, the best of max output for noise. Um, but I believe the Federa standard is basically setting the pot dead center. So it's right in the middle of its uh, uh, resistance. Yeah. Garrison spacing, which is how this is designed, is um, the back pickup, uh, typically on a jazz bass, right, is in the, uh, either 60s or 70s position. That's your standard with your single coil fender, right? So with Federa, uh, the decision that Matt Garrison made was to actually bring the pickup closer uh, to the nut, I guess you could say or the neck pickup, so it's a little tighter, so that actually brings in more warmth. Because uh, where your pickups are placed, you know, on, on the whole spectrum here between the bridge and the nut, or if you think between the bridge and the 12th uh, fret, that's where all your, uh, your motion is on your string. And if you have um, the pickup obviously closer to the bridge, that's a spot where the string is a lot tighter. So you get that tighter, more, um, you could say, it's like a, almost a brighter sound. It's more like, there's more like mid-ranges and stuff. But with this being warmth, which is really getting close to where a P bass pickup is, or well, this is the P location, right? I remember, I, I forgot to also say that my tone knob is on full. If you want a little more warmth, dial it back. settings in this bass and I like it pretty much set up just the way it is um, so now said what you can do when you have the active preamp engaged you have access to the mid switch so you can get it get it different so I've boosted the mids here and I've dropped I think this is the 400 Hertz setting versus 800 
center. should actually put it in humbucking mode <laughs> so you guys can hear a little bit of a different sound with that so this is centered center between both pickups active is on here's active off Canceling on. It's just a different flavor. this mini video to almost be 15 minutes um, but yeah check out the photos they're pretty cool thanks for watching <laughs>